Well, it's time for an evening head shave, and we'll be using the Carb Overlander Safety Razor. Boy, this is a wonderful razor. I've been looking forward to doing this head shave. Please, join me. It's all coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Great to see you again. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. We talk about all things traditional wet shave here. So please make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. And also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. We're going to have a head shave, an evening head shave. I've got about three and a half days worth of hair growth here. I let it grow in because I want to really take this particular razor through the paces. This is the Carve Overlander Safety Razor. This is a fully brass razor. This is beautifully CNC machined. Absolutely spectacular razor. It was I've been using it for face shaves. It's wonderful. My thanks to viewer Fernie Beck for sending this along. It really is a fantastic razor. And I got such a nice uh, face shave with it. I immediately knew this is going to be great for head shave. So we're going to do an evening head shave. Now, it's not quite the evening. It's getting on, getting to be middle of the afternoon, but I thought I'd kind of reverse the process a little bit and get this, uh, fa get this head shave done because it's bugging me that I've got that hair growth up there. And I'm holding off on doing a head shave because I'm going to be Later on, I'm going to be uh, taking this razor through the through its paces, the um, Blackland Era. So I kind of uh, skipped my morning shave just to get a little more hair growth to try this out. Uh, so we're looking forward to doing uh, a shave with this. So some great stuff in the shaving den to uh, try out, test, review, that sort of thing. Hang on a minute. Let me set that aside. So that's what we got going on. So we're going to be using... Uh, Club Guy from Phoenix Shaving. I'm going to kick it off with the uh, Cube 2.0. I'm just going to use that as kind of a pre-shave base. I'm not going to rinse it off. I'm just going to wet the wet the head and uh, use that there. We're going to use a Platinum Strangelet blade from Phoenix Shaving. Boy, these are great. I love those blades. I'm going to finish it off, obviously, with uh, Club Guy Aftershave Cologne and the uh, Balm for Upstairs, their Star Jelly. Uh, and, of course, uh, after I do the head shave, we're going to be using the uh, Alma Block, the no-slip grip of the dry dock system from Phoenix Shaving, just to see how things, uh, just see how things uh, react to the razor, make sure there's no stinging or zinging, anything like that. Uh, we're going to be using, I got it right here, I'm going to be using a bore brush. I'm going to be using my Omega Pro brush. This, this thing's really massive. So we're going to be using a pro brush. We've been talking about using pro brushes, not pro brushes, bore brushes on the Monday morning mailbag. And I have one. I haven't used it in a while, so it's been soaking. And I'm going to use that to um, whip up the lather. I'm going to do it right here on the head, kind of a head lather. Uh, and I've got my brush skull right here to keep things nice and warm. So that's kind of got it, the lay of the land there. So let's go ahead and uh, let's install this razor blade in the... Uh, cap in the base plate there. Boy, this thing is just beautifully, beautifully machined. Just wonderful. So let's open up. Got a fresh pack here. Okay, here they are. Boy, I love the artwork on these Phoenix blades. I love, that. I love the artwork on everything that Phoenix Shaving does. Check that out, huh? Right there on the wrapper. Okay, and these are double wrapped. That's, I always take that as a, a good sign. <laughs> I don't know if it is or it isn't. I always take it as a good sign that it's a really well-made blade. Okay, so let's just get this blade out. And uh, there it is. Platinum strange lip blade. Here is my cap right there. There it is right there. Make sure you see that on camera. And it just fits in there so nicely. And here's the base plate. It is slot and groove. The slots don't go all the way through. Uh, just beautifully, beautifully manufactured. There it is. Just fits on there nicely. And the end tabs of the blade are enclosed in the razor head. And we'll just... Beautiful, beautiful clamping. And you know, you, when you get to the end of the threads, 
uh, so to speak, or when you get right to the point where it's completely clamped, you don't have to do that extra twist. It just closes up so nicely. So there it is right there, the blade balance and alignment. I didn't even check it. I, I'm just putting it in front of the camera because I know it's perfect every single time. I'm going to look at it now. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, we're all set. Let's take this little bit of hot water that's on the puck. Let's, uh, let's wet the head. Let's get to the shade. As I say, I'm going to kick it off with the uh, Cube 2.0 Activated Charcoal CK6. This has got the menthol in it. And we're just going to work that into a little bit of a lather. And we're going to use this as a pre-shave base. Now, ordinarily, the way you use it is, is uh, when you're doing a face shave, uh, you use this to kind of degrease the uh, the face, and uh, you then you, you work it up like this, then you rinse it off, and you reapply it as the uh, pre-shave base. I'm going to skip that that washing phase of it because I had a shower this morning and. Uh, I think everything up there will be okay. So we're going to go ahead and use this board brush right here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a ring. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and just load this. And just... I haven't used the board brushes in quite some time. I used this for a face shave just the other day. And it did a remarkable job. Now, board brushes tend to eat a little bit of lather. Um, so you'll want to keep your soap puck nearby if you're doing a third or fourth pass, uh, just to kind of reload it. Whereas with a synthetic brush, boy, it, you know, a synthetic brush just really does a great job of developing a lather, but also making it available from the brush. Bore brush, uh, tends to eat a little bit, so you might have to go back into the puck, but, you know, there's no rule says you don't have to. I mean, come on. So we're going to go, we're going to a really nice load there. And it's a nice big knot, so we're going to get a lot of nice coverage. So, okay, so here we go. And I love this scent. Love this scent. Okay, again, CK6 likes water, so we're going to go in and get some water here in a little bit. Again, I got about three and a half days worth of hair growth here, and just really looking forward to shaving it off. And the nice thing is, is this brush is giving me some really good coverage here. Even though I, you know, I've got a lot of hair growth there, and it seems to be, the ladder seems to be covering it up, seems to be generating it well, to the point where I'm able to cover everything up. Sometimes, you know, when you do this, you want to maybe just do a little bit of pumping here, like this, and then get some air in that brush so you can create a little more cushion with the lather, which is what I've... And that worked, that worked well. A little more water, just a little more water. This is my first time using the Overlander for a head shave. First time using it. Okay. Boom! Lather! <laughs> Man! That's great! And again, I love the scent. The scent is just filling the shave in. It's just a wonderful, wonderful scent. Just a classic, classic shave soap scent. Okay. Okay, I think that's got it. So we're going to put this into my my brush scuttle, and then we'll rinse that hand off. So let's go ahead and heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. It's all set to go. Heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Okay. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh, that's marvelous. You can see how it's clearing away that hair. 
if you recall how much I had there, it's shading it away very nicely and it is such a smooth performing razor. The blade helps a great deal too. We're just going to go in the back here. The nice thing is, is that it's very smooth and mild and yet I can really feel the blade and really get on the mark. Now they've said that this razor uh, is has a forgiving shaving angle in that um, regardless of that 30 degree mark, if you're in the ballpark, you're still going to get a nice shave. And I like that a lot. Boy, this is terrific. Very, very nice. We're going to go front to back here. A lot of hair growth there. A lot of hair growth there. The thing that I like about this is, is that doing right on top of the head, shaving right on top of the head, where the skin come, becomes a little bit thinner, but you still get those extraneous hairs that kind of pop up and you want to kind of, they may look a little bit unruly. Um, this does a nice job in being effective, mild and efficient to where I'm not having too much fear in nicking myself up there. I'm able to find that angle. And it's still quite effective. Oh, that's terrific. Okay. All right. Okay, that's the first pass done. Let's go ahead and splash a little bit of water up there. Let's see where we're at. Yes, it's very nice. Again, I've got about three and a half days worth of hair growth. If this was maybe uh, less than that, like maybe a day and a half, I think the result would be... Uh, the result would be, uh, well, obviously there would be a little, <laughs> there would be a little more hair shaved from the area, but, but this is a lot of hair growth. And given that fact, the razor is doing a remarkably good job of taking it down. Now here again, here I am with pass number two, and you can see that I've got enough lather in the brush, but I'm probably going to have to uh, Relather if I need a third pass or a touch up. I don't usually my shaves with about this much hair growth or um, a day or so less than than that. I'm probably right at two passes and touch up. And I think that's where I'm going to be with this. I think this will be a very very good pass because it's gotten a lot of the long hair out of the way. The longer hair is out of the way. So now this is just going to be some nice cleanup. The razor has just been wonderful. And of course, when you're doing the traditional wet shave with a safety razor, you're not trying to get everything in one fell swoop. You're taking it down in stages. First pass, second pass, third pass, touch up, that sort of thing. So that's what we're doing here. And this razor is doing a very, very nice job, given the fact that I've got about three and a half days worth of hair growth. So... Uh, this will probably really tell the tale right here. So we're going to go from back to front. And yes, oh yes. Yep, this is really... That's marvelous. That really is. I can feel the blade really engaging and taking down that hair growth that was there from, that remained from pass one, the first pass. And really giving me a good result. 
Now, obviously, I'm going to know more as I uh, wrap up the second pass and really kind of feel things and see where we're at. Usually what happens is, with my head shaves, is, and I, you know, I, 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 I kind of, there's some areas I always miss just because, well, it's just the way it happens. Regardless of the razor, might be my technique, might just be where the hair is on my head. I miss the angle a little bit, whatever it is. But I go back for a touch-up and I'm able to really clean it up nicely. And I'll show you how I do my touch-up here. And again, this razor is exceptional uh, on top. Uh, just a nice, nice approach on top. Mild and efficient enough to really take care of Uh, the top of the head without threatening a nick. Really terrific. Now, again, you know, I'm feeling around here, and again, usually right here, right here on most sides, I need a touch up, a little bit back here. That's, that's always characteristic of it, but this has been a really nice, smooth shave so far. So, we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of water up there and do my touch-up pass because I am at the same point after three and a half days worth of hair growth with this razor as I would be with um, any other razor after, say, uh, two days worth of hair growth. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's, let's throw a little bit of water up there and let's start then we'll do our touch-up pass. Okay, I want to just throw a little bit of water up there. A little more because of the CK6. CK6 likes water. So here we go. We're going to take some. Oh, look at that. I do have plenty there. Look at that. I have just as much there pulling it out of the knot as I would have with uh, a lot of other brushes. Okay, so there we are. So what I like to do is I like to move it around here like this. Get it on my hand. Make sure I got the protection there. And just start using this razor to get those spots that I might have missed. Now I think I'm doing a little more touch up here than I ordinarily would, but again, it's three and a half days worth of growth. That's the thing. Okay, that is that's the thing. And you know, make sure there's enough slickness and protection there. And the razor just glides. But there is this beautiful efficiency there. Boy, that's really terrific. Now that I'm doing my touch up here, I'm just knocking down those areas and really kind of just pinpointing them a little more. And that's how I do my touch up. So like right here, I got a little bit that I want to take down and right here. So I can kind of laser in on those areas so what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of the bulk on uh, the first pass. So that's, and of course there's going to be some left behind. On the second pass, I'm taking it down the rest of the way. But for those little patches that I may have missed, now I'm lasering in just by putting the lather in my hand, applying the slickness, and then just trying to feel around, which is a great way to do it. You're feeling around to see what you missed. And right now, I <laughs> it's smooth. I'm going to get, I got behind the ear. I'm just going to do this again a little bit. And right there like that. Boy, that's true. That is, boy, that's terrific. That's marvelous. I'm just making sure. Yeah, this shave is done. And the nice thing is, let me rinse the hand off here. This razor, let me rinse that a little bit there like that. This razor head has been solid on the handle. It has not loosened up 
at all. Marvelous, marvelous razor. All right, now that I've uh, got that, we're gonna do my two final rinses. One warm, this is really, this is done. This is a really nice, smooth result now. Um, <laughs> absolutely fantastic, fantastic razor. Three and a half days worth of growth. Really, that's phenomenal. And I was able to take it down with two passes and a touch-up as I would with any other razor with, say, two days or day and a half worth of growth. That's really wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and drain the sink, and we're going to do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Okay, so hang in there with me because I'm going to have to rinse off quite a bit here. Uh, here's my warm water rinse. Yeah, that's always a challenge to try to rinse off the head like that to kind of get close underneath the faucet and kind of grab it and splash it over your head. I switched it to the cold water side and good and cold. By the way, the brush and the lather were really, really nice and warm from the brush scuttle. That was marvelous. Okay, here's my cold water rinse. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. All righty, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. I'm looking down at my sink, and boy, there is a lot of hair in there that has to be cleaned out. It, this razor really, really gave me a spectacular head shape. Wonderful. Wow. I don't think I want to wait three and a half days again for my next head shave, <laughs> be perfectly honest with you, because it was driving me crazy. I'm so glad that, wow, that is a nice result. Man, is that nice. All righty. So let's get the album block and let's wet this under some cold water. And we'll pass it over the scalp here and see if there's any stinging, any zinging, anything like that which would uh, lead us to believe that maybe the, the, the shave uh, could have been a little too harsh, that sort of thing, perhaps. We'll see. Here we go. I doubt it. I really doubt it. Okay, here we go. Nice and smooth. No stinging. No zinging at all. That is fantastic. No stinging, no zinging. That's really, really fantastic. Here's the dry dock system. Okay, put it in there like that. Let the air in the room take care of the rest. That was wonderful. Well, you saw the brush. I mean, I pulled the lather out of the brush, how much I had there. You saw that. That was wonderful. And this razor has just done an absolutely spectacular job. Uh, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Just a really, really nice, nice result. Boy, going to use this for a head shave again. Absolutely. Uh, but next time around, again, I'm not going to wait, <laughs> you know, uh, three and a half days, three and a half, four days, whatever it was. I think it was three and a half, four days, really. I like to do it every other day, and that's pretty much where I'm on target with having a nice head shave. Uh, head shaves with the safety razor, uh, for me, are more enjoyable. I think they are uh, give me a smoother result, and I think they're a little longer lasting than uh, using a cartridge. However, there are times when, you know, you have to use a cartridge or the Omni Shaver or something like that because you're in a hurry or whatever your schedule is. But boy, I love doing it with a safety razor. It's just fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little bit of club guy up there just to see if we have any more feedback because this is alcohol based. Love this scent. Love, love, love this scent. Okay. Again, there's no stinging at all. That's fantastic. And just a great, just a great, great scent. Just marvelous, marvelous scent. So that's uh, 
Club Guy. That's great. That's absolutely fantastic. And here is the uh, Phoenix Shaving Club Guy. Star Jelly, which is their version of an aftershave balm. I don't know why they call it Star Jelly, but that's what they call it. And uh, there it is right there. So we'll just go ahead and work that in. Again, it's got a little bit of menthol in it, and it's got the same great Club Guy scent. So it's been Club Guy from start to finish. Great, great shave, great head shave. Really a wonderful, smooth result. This razor just does not disappoint. Absolutely fantastic. Love the weight and heft. Love the balance. Love the precision of it. Uh, this is the first time I'm using the Platinum Strangelet Blade in it. It aligned perfectly, seated correctly. Absolutely wonderful. This is just a winning razor. And again, it has such a great handle. Uh, the knurling, the channels that are carved in there, that are machined in there, it just gives you a really, really nice grip. Uh, throughout the shave, I didn't think once about, oh man, this, is, this razor is slipping out of my hand. No, it gave me just a wonderful grip throughout. Uh, and I'm doing a head shave too, so you know, some, some of that is getting on my hands a little bit, and this still, still gave me just a wonderful, wonderful grip. Just, just terrific. And uh, nice low profile to the razor head. Again, the balance and alignment are spot on. It's mild, yet highly, highly efficient. It delivers a really, really smooth result, uh, whether you're doing a face shave or a head shave. Really just fantastic razor. My thanks again to viewer Fernie Beck. Thank you very, very much, Fernie. Really, really do appreciate this razor. It is, it's quickly becoming a favorite. I mean, there's no doubt because I can do a face shave, I can do a head shave, and the result is so smooth. And this is a BBS smooth result for my head. Absolutely fantastic. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we'll give you all the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out Amazon.com. Well, actually, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash marks rating where you'll find all the products I review in this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily thanks very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it i'll see you again real soon